Hey guys, it's Baza here from Living in Beta. The long wait has finally come to an end. Isaac Clarke is once again gracing our monitors and TVs across the world. Load up your plasma cutter and check those corners. We're delving into the twisted world of Dead Space. The original Dead Space came out way back in the winter of 2008, and almost 15 years later, we're getting a full-on remake. It's fair to say that a remake or even remaster was needed in this case. The original title, whilst being playable on PC, isn't the smoothest experience without significant modding. Players are once again put into the shoes of Isaac Clarke, tasked with exploring the depths of the nightmarish USG Ishimura. New or returning players can expect a fantastic horror experience, with a focus on atmosphere and tense combat. With that, let's crack on with the video. Dead Space is set in the far distant future of 2508. Earth's natural resources have been decimated, with humanity's lifeline now residing in the stars through the process of planet cracking. One of the vessels designed to carry out this process, the USG Ishimura, sends out a request for help which is picked up by another ship, the USG Kellyan. Aboard which is our playable protagonist, CEC engineer Isaac Clarke. Uh, sounds like their communication array is busted. Maybe a broken encoder. Daniels and I can handle it in 48 hours, max. Whilst Isaac is there to perform his job, he's also hoping to reunite with his partner, Nicole, a senior medical officer stationed aboard the Ishimura. What begins as a simple repair job quickly devolves into a desperate struggle to survive. Isaac has to repurpose his engineering tools to hack, blast, and dismember the Necromorph Horde. Both new and returning players alike are in for an incredibly immersive, pulse-pounding ride. The sprawling labyrinthian corridors of the Ishimura complement the atmosphere perfectly. Creaks and groans of the aging planet cracker keep you on the edge of your seat, anticipating the sudden and unwelcome appearance of a former crewmate turned marker meat sack. Whilst the original Dead Space holds up graphically even today, it's undeniable that the added improvements to lighting, sound design, shadows, and graphical fidelity all add to the immersion, crucial for any video game, but especially ones in the survival horror genre. Exiting vacuum. Character models display impressive detail whilst environments have had a significant facelift when compared to the original. Last but not least for story and world, it has to be mentioned that Gunnar Wright returning to voice Isaac is a wonderful bonus. Whilst many would argue in favour of a silent protagonist, Gunnar proved how much he can elevate the character of Isaac in both the follow-up Dead Space titles. Overall, the story and world are top quality. Justin Scott, the Kelly and Till, the Singularity Corp overloaded. No! The Kellyan was our only way home. We're trapped. No! I'm not losing two good people for nothing. Shoot off the limbs. Four words that will be etched into your mind by the time the credits roll. The dismemberment system works well, with repurposed bone becoming your new weapon of choice. The Dead Space remake follows the original faithfully, whilst adding key quality of life improvements as well as additions along the way. The tank control over the shoulder gameplay style returns, encouraging players to make use of their additional tools to survive. These come in the form of stasis, which slows enemies, as well as kinesis, which can launch objects or necromorph body parts to devastating effect. Becoming overwhelmed can quickly spell death, so making good use of the environment is essential to survival. As is tradition in survival horror, puzzle sections are present in the Dead Space remake. These will have players performing engineering tasks such as rerouting power, or repairing a tram system, helping to break up the combat and allow for sufficient downtime. 
These moments of quiet are crucial to maintaining the tense and creepy atmosphere that Dead Space works to create. You only have to look at Dead Space 3 for what happens when survival horror stays a little too long at the action set piece buffet. Speaking to the quality of life changes, a huge improvement comes during the zero gravity sections. The control scheme and movement systems from Dead Space 2 and 3 has replaced the awkward, stiff scheme used in the original title. This makes zero G sections much more fun to play through, removing the disorienting mess players were previously faced with. We also have the Necromorph degradation system, showing real-time damage of the limbs and allowing the player to see how close a Necro is to losing that particular limb. Think RE2 Remake. This all helps to boost the gameplay experience. Moving on to new additions, there are several worth mentioning. Our first two come in the form of side quests and security clearance. Players will encounter side quests as they continue their main adventure through the Ishimura, as well as come across security clearance upgrades. These elements help to encourage exploration, providing suitable narrative or item-based rewards for players willing to put in the extra time. Most importantly though, these do not egregiously affect the main campaign, allowing players to focus on that if they so wish. The last addition to mention is weapon upgrades. Players will find these throughout their playthrough, and can use them at weapon benches in order to beef up Isaac's engineering arsenal. Moving on to performance, we played the Dead Space remake on PS5 using performance mode. Through our initial playtime, we didn't notice any slowdown, glitches or crashes. A steady 60 looks to have been achieved, crucial for a game that asks for swift reactions. From what we've heard, PC performance also seems to be rock solid. We'll keep monitoring performance as we continue our journey through the remake. For price, Dead Space Remake set us back about £65, however a cheaper price can definitely be found if shopping around. Given this is a full remake, it could be argued that the price is warranted. As always though, the price can only be justified by the player. If they deem the experience worth the price of admission, that's the full stop. For us, it's been incredible jumping back into Isaac's shoes. For those who are new here, we use a unique system for our recommendations. This from worst to best is Keep the Receipt, a game which failed to live up to expectation and isn't worth playing, One Night Stand, a game which could be worth a dabble if there's nothing else in your backlog that takes your fancy, Frequent Fallback, a game which is decent enough to return to once you've finished playing your most anticipated titles, Pulisiki, a game which is so good it's worth the guilt of faking illness to get a day off work, and finally Book a Week Off. A game that's so great, you need to sacrifice a week's annual leave to satisfy your urge to binge this beauty. The Dead Space remake achieves a high-end Pulisiki, a tense, claustrophobic horror experience punctuated by satisfying combat, excellent sound design, as well as quality of life improvements and additions which elevate the remake above its predecessor. A bitter pill to swallow for Callisto. Well guys, that's our first thoughts and initial impressions on the Dead Space remake. Let us know in the comments if you've snapped this up yet and how you're finding it. If you enjoyed the video, drop us a like and subscribe if you want to see more. As always, I'll catch you in the next one.